Hello everybody, welcome to another YouTube tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to create kind of a good environment. Like, kind of like a good environment, how to like place, rotate and all that. So um, first we wanna do place down a part. So I'm gonna do kind of like a little uh, warehouse section. I feel like that'd be kind of good. So um, here's this thing called a material manager. You wanna click on it. But before we add some materials, I'm gonna go to uh, this, go into models, and then go into textures. Now, see, we're gonna have some textures, but you're gonna wanna find these ones. So click this. Now that's added into material service. Now, if we go into material manager again, look, we have, you know, new ones. So, um, that, we got new ones, <laughs> but, um, mm -hmm. I'm going to find a wooden plank one that I like, um, let's see, ooh, I kind of like that one, but there's, it's not like a, kind of like plank, I think I might go with this one, or, ooh, no, that one's kind of, oh, oh, no, definitely not that one, uh, Bit bright. Mm. I mean, uh, that's pretty good. Now, there's also these things you can make, you know, reflective. That one will do. Of course, transparency in my other one. Let me show you that. All that. Um. So, I'm going to make some walls for the build. Um, now I'm going to find another, um, like, texture for the walls. Uh, this time I will not have it, like, as planky. Um, because I just don't want it as planky. Er, oh yeah, I like that, I like that. Alright, so. I'm not gonna say that, so. I'm gonna just make like these two walls. So now, uh, excuse me. Um, I'm going to go into meshes, create. No, so yeah, I like this crate. But you see, it's way too big. And if you do this, yeah, it's just be a little too uneven. So go back to its full. If you hold shift, and then do anyone it's going to you know just make it smaller all even like you know all sides are going to be even so i kind of want like a bigger box so i'll do like that and i'm rotating and it's just like kind of like place them all around um can i just like place them around I'll do also some lighting in this too. So like, just place them around for your little character to walk around them. Um, also, um, a building tip. So kind of just like, uh, you can either do it this way, spawn on a dummy like that, or you can go into avatar, create rig builder. Whoa, this is different. <laughs> Um, okay, it, I did not realize studio updated, but uh, I'll do my avatar. <gasps> what? Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's cool. All right, I don't know, not know. Okay, yeah, Roblox studio updated, I had no clue. Um, but see, this is my avatar. So like, um, normally like use your kind of like avatar for building or any avatar. But like use it for building so you can like you know they, they like let's say like you made your build like really big and you didn't know until you started play testing it then like you were like this small compared to the world like yeah that wouldn't what the heck happened um like you know you wouldn't really want that unless that's what you're going for um now we're gonna I'm gonna look for some like shelves. 
So I spelled that wrong, but oh well. Yeah, see, here you go. Another thing, yeah, see, too tiny. Scale that up. So now they go right here. I kind of like, err. Oh, I kind of like this one too. Nah, I'm gonna go with this one. But, um. Yeah. Do that. See, and then you can still, you know, you can do that because, you know, this is a mesh. Mesh. Gonna place these around. And then, yeah, kind of just like, this is a very sloppy thing. Um, yeah. Um, it, keep in mind, you don't have to do this, but, um, I mean, yeah, you obviously don't have to. Um, I'm gonna just, like, put, um, something like, uh, another way you can do a ceiling is just copy the floor and just raise it up. <laughs> but, yeah, so, you know, we got our little, all right, you know what? I'm a fully finished building walls. <laughs> Uh, so let me just, uh, meow. But yeah, see, you notice how it's gonna, you know, get a bit dark inside of here. So we're gonna, you know, want to have a light source. But first, talking about lights, uh, lighting. There's this thing right here where you can do lighting. See, there's some sections in here. If we go into ambience, we can make it darker, darker, brighter, whatever you're going for. See, I'm gonna make it kind of like an abandoned one. So brightness, I'm gonna turn that to zero. That doesn't really do anything. But yeah, I'm gonna turn that to zero. That like kind of like gets like the environment like all that. So you notice, um, and then I stretch it even better. Diffuse scale. That's kind of like um, like the corners. Notice how like before it was dark outside ambient. See, so yeah, this is oh, <laughs> this is what's gonna like kind of like make it also bright too but that's not what i'm looking for <laughs> and shadow softness you can do one which is max or you can do zero i never really notice the difference but i always keep it at one uh technology so here's technology so future is like if you want some like realistic light here uh, let me like make a light real quick so um yeah, here's how to make a light too, if you don't know. So like go right here. Uh, there's spotlight, which will make it kind of like a circle. Surface light will make it kind of like a square. And point light will make it so like there's light all around the square. Or what object you have. So spotlight. I like to use spotlight a lot. And if you don't want it um, to, you know, like be facing this way. And like not wanting to rotate the square and, you know that you go into spotlight you see the face that's the front and i want it going through the bottom so i click bottom see and um notice how it's kind of like a circle um it depends on the lighting like what technology you have in there uh, like compatibility see look the lighting's different if you have it on future see i get that if you have it on shadow map, it's going to do that. And same with Vocatile. But vo vox vo Voxel, I cannot pronounce that. But I'm going to do Future because it's uh, the most realistic and it does uh, goes well with the horror lighting. And also a thing to get better, like kind of like horror lighting, is to add shadows to it. See how it disappeared because it's going through the roof. So I'm gonna wanna do that. So you notice how it's like casting shadows now. So like move the shadows are moving. So um, and well, if you wanna like, um, here, let me like move the ceiling a tiny bit. So like, what if you wanna like the light to go higher, but see how it isn't, you know, reaching out. You're gonna wanna go, um, no, not angle, range. And increase the range like um i'll probably say 20 or no what that's not 20 
with 20 C. It made it, and um, these lines signify how, like, you know, where it's gonna go. So there's that angle is like where, you know, like how, like tiny you want the light to be, how big you want it to be. Um, hold up, and you can change the color here. Like they can do red, like a creepy kind of like red color, which I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna keep it kind of like this white color. I'm gonna put it over here, and now you can make the part transparent name it light and then kind of like put this back and I'm gonna place that um, light uh, that light block that we made and just place it around the map to give it some light if I can find it I mean I, you can also click right there to get it but um see it now duplicate oh yeah also make sure you have that move on it it really helps if you want to like place it in like specific areas then they keep it even so um yeah you see there we go I'm just place them around in the corners all right there we go Let's see um now I see like right there. It's all you know, dark, shadowy. So I'm I'm doing kind of like a horror little like area thing. You yeah, see now it's all kind of creepy. Um, you know, <laughs> all spooky. And um, notice again sometimes you wanna boop. I'm gonna do a. 51 but my avatar boom see notice how it's you know as big as the map and if i click play here it'll spawn me in where you know i'll be except notice how you know kind of like fill apart and um yeah that's because i forgot to anchor <laughs> anchor it i actually didn't even mean to do that intentionally i just forgot to anchor but, um, yeah, um, so, yeah, like I just, uh, hold, um, what is it, left click, can I do it, and uh, click that anchor button, and it'll anchor everything, so now, also run is also a good one if you don't want to, like, walk back, but, yeah, see, now, it's all together, so it won't be falling apart anymore, and, yeah, so um that's kind of good unless you want everything to fall apart and that's what you're going for um yeah so uh what else i think that's kind of it uh see you later